These will do nicely. Well done. All right. Now I need some spider carapace to form the hilt. Ice weaver shells should be perfect for it. Win four of them for me in the grand arena. All right, hey YouTube, and welcome to the next part of the Wizard 101 walkthrough. Um, so you might be wondering why are you talking to General Taba? Um, whenever that quest with the ice shards, I finished that off screen. Sorry for not showing you, but uh, just go ahead and finish that quest and I'll talk to General Kaba, and uh, he's gonna give you this quest. And uh, another thing, you might be looking at the time length. This video is 23 minutes and 34 seconds almost 35 um so yeah this is a really long video i'm sorry for making it this long i know some people don't like watching insanely long videos this was a little over what i'm uh, used to doing here uh, you know the 16 17 18 um but we got a ton of things done in this video um if you remember in part 44 of this walkthrough we did fight the ice weavers already so i am cutting the battle out um, you do not get every carapace for every spider we for every ice weaver in the battle. Um, see there, there were two in the battle, only got one. And um, and here I go to get some health, and I'm gonna fight the next one. Uh, another thing I like to quickly mention is that um, we have a forums now, our own forum. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up. I'll leave the link in the description to Rant Rantahu's uh, forum. So uh, just go ahead and uh, sign up. Um, you see here, I didn't get any any carapace at all. I was like, damn it, because <laughs> I got two from that first battle. So I guess it was kind of like, it kind of evens out now that I didn't get any over there. And I finally finished the uh, get the last two and go ahead and talk to General Kaba. Um, and he's over there. The Grand Arena will be the next arena after this one. So yeah. Yes, these will do. Good work. The hilt needs gems Level to magnify the blade's power, for it is the blade of a general. I will need you to collect these gems in the area. Ten should be enough. Alright, if you remember the quest in the Palace of Fire, um, I do just cut ahead. I, I get all the gems. So, uh, yeah, it's like the same thing in the Palace of Fire. No difference. Yes, yes, these will be good. They'll fit in perfectly. Now. I require something to wrap around the hilt for a good grip. The hall servants should have some leather straps. Those should do well. All right, and the hall servants, uh, mark this location. Uh, you should know where they are uh, when you enter this area. They're all right here in the beginning. So I cut ahead to him, and then I speed up the first battle. Um, but yeah, you need to get leather straps. Um, so it could take you a while to get them. Um, but luckily, these guys are insanely weak. If you remember the Charm Slaves um, back in uh, the Chamber of Fire, um, they're the same except they're ice and have a little more health, uh, but not too much. If you want to buy a separate deck and just put blades and ghouls in them, that I think that might work, or uh, just banshees or something like that. But uh, yeah, they're they shouldn't be too difficult for any, even if you're ice type. <laughs> they shouldn't be too difficult to kill. Um, I don't know anyone that does have difficulty killing them. But uh, I get lucky and I get them on the first try. So that was really nice. Um, let's talk to General Cabo. Excellent. These leather straps will go well with it. Now to forge the blade. Aji Sakwi guards the frozen forge. We will need a key to unlock the entrance to his lair. Defeat his guards, the Sakwi Crushers. One of them must have a key. Alright, and the Sakwi Crushers, uh... This is another kind of annoying quest. Uh, just cause they don't drop the key that often, so you're gonna have to fight a lot of them. Uh, luckily, if you go to where... Um... Where I'm going right now, which is, I think, where Aji Sakwi actually is. Um, next to his lair. Right over here, um, I think this is where he is, I don't even know. But yeah, they spawn in like, groups here, so it's really easy to get to the battle. Um, we did fight these guys before, uh, with, they were accompanied by bosses, so I did cut the battle out. You should know they have 310 HP, uh, pretty weak again if you, uh, and I remember, those guys from the Palace of Fire are the 
Narini Warriors. I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go back to that. So we got the key on our second battle, actually. That was... Again, I got really lucky uh, for drops on this wizard. Um, quest drops, rather. So let's talk to General Kaba. Most excellent. We are close now. You have proven to be a most valiant warrior. I will send some loyal troops through these passageways. Would you perform the boldest part of the plan? Defeat Aji Zakui and use the Frozen Forge to create my new blade. Alright, so now he wants us to defeat the Aji Zakui, uh, the boss. And... Uh, is he? No, he's actually this way. Okay, so I was wrong on where his location was. Okay, got mixed up over there. Um, so yeah, Aji Sokui, um, I believe he is another ice boss, as you will see in a little, and uh, I made a mistake last video, that other neckbit, he does not have tower shield actually, um, but Aji Sokui does have a tower shield. Um, you will not evade me, wizard. Prepare to meet your doom. And you see he has this thing behind him, which is the frozen forge, which uh, we will need to use after we kill this guy. Uh, sadly, he can't use it now. Uh, that's quite unfortunate. <laughs> but that'd be a really cheap tactic. Uh, but yeah, uh, 570 HP. Yes, with the Sakui Crusher. Uh, he is a boss, both ice type. Um, he does have Tower Shield, by the way. I think he does use it in this battle. Uh, there it is. Yeah, first, first, first turn he gets, he uses it. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, he can be pretty annoying with that. Uh, like I said, Neckbit does not have tower shield so yeah guys uh hope you enjoy the wizard one i want to walk through uh, leave your comments on uh what's to improve on or anything like that um but yeah <laughs> and i already mentioned this but uh please sign up on the forums that we have now uh there's nothing uh posted yet um but we will have stuff going or maybe like upcoming uh playthroughs uh walkthroughs rather and a bunch of other things um but yeah it's free it doesn't cost anything it's just the forms um but yeah <laughs> yeah sorry my bad guys uh my uh commentator froze there for a second uh, didn't hear me talking at all um so back to Aji Sakui um a good strategy f uh for him um blade uh death trap and uh spear trap or a curse and a vampire uh th th I think that'll actually be overkill if I'm correct I think that might be overkill um I don't know, it might be overkill. Maybe you just need a blade and a trap. Yeah, I think a blade and a trap would work. Um, to kill this guy very easily. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Other than that, again, this guy isn't too difficult like anything in this world. Um, still got, uh, leave your comments on what you want me to do Grizzleheim. That's one thing else that I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards doing it after uh, Krakatopia. And uh, not going directly to Marleybone. I'm gonna hold off on Marleybone until after I finish Grizzleheim. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, thing is, with Grizzleheim, um, in later parts, it gets really difficult. So uh, that's that's why I'm still, you know, kind of deciding. Uh, closest to the end of Grizzleheim, that's where it gets, you know. The the, uh, the bosses and everything, they start to have uh, much more HP and everything, and uh, yeah, it's just harder to kill in general. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, handle that without dying 50 times in a row. Uh, <laughs> although I probably will just ask someone to uh, help me on the Wizard One on Central forums. Um, I can always ask someone for help, and that won't be a problem. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're almost done with this boss battle. He's just a vampire away from meeting his doom. 
But we are pretty low on health, 425. Luckily, he doesn't have any pips at all, so he can't do anything to us. Uh, yeah, Ice Trap. <laughs> and no Fizzle, that's a miracle. <laughs> And there we go, 427 back, and he is dead, and now we need to use the Frozen Forge. And there we go, uh, apparently we used it somehow, but <laughs> I cut ahead to General Cabo over here. Excellent work, wizard. You made my plan a success. With you on our side, we are certain not to fail. I must stay and rally our forces. Your help will not be forgotten, wizard. You have done much to earn the trust of the Order of the Fang. Go tell Shalit Bumais in the entrance hall that I am once again ready to lead our fight. Alright, and I believe I cut ahead to Shalik. Yes, I do. And, uh, yeah, that's the entrance hall. We're done with that. Um, you'll see we have one more quest there later on, but that's later on. Excellent. <laughs> You found the great General Kaba and returned him to the fold. Perhaps the sleep has no ill effect on any of the order. We may very well defeat the Tuts for good this time. With General Kaba, the order can plan strategy. But without our fearless warrior, Kai Amate the Great, who are we? I'm concerned that our Mander ally, Akko, has not yet found Kai Amate. Please go to the Grand Arena and help Akko. Kai Amate's ferocity in battle stirs the fight in all of us. He must be found. Alright, so now we have to go to the Grand Arena, which we went to one time for these carapaces that we needed uh, for General Kaba. But now we have to talk to Akko, and this area is where you're going to level up like crazy, and I will show you why in this video. Um, but first, let's talk to Akko, someone we haven't met yet. Are you a warrior, young wizard? Because a warrior is what we need. Say, you're such a great warrior, you remind me of my father. He was the only mander to fight in the Grand Arena. He even became a champion. I have had this dream for a long time to test my skills in the arena, but alas, I am not allowed in. Could you ask the arena master if the son of Oka could compete? Gaiamate the Great is fighting in the Colosseum, but Manders aren't allowed in. I've got another idea. Disguised as a gladiator, you wouldn't raise any suspicion. If you accept, you should battle Sphinx Gladiators to earn the Mark of the Gladiator. The Mark will gain your entry. When you have it, return to me to complete your disguise. Alright, so, uh, he wants to defeat any Sakui in the arena. Um, I believe first I do talk to the Arena Master, if I am correct. Um, I think. But, um, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to fight them for a second, <laughs> but I don't. But this is a really cool place. I like how they designed it. It looks really nice, the Colosseum. Um, I don't know. I, I just thought it looks nice, but you get dragged into a lot of battles here. You want a Mander to compete in the arena? <laughs> you must be joking. Who put you up to this? Was it Fort? Such a sense of humor. There was only one Mander who has achieved that feat, and I know no one will ever come close to his skills. <laughs> Now that was a warrior. What? You say that Akko is a descendant of Oka? <laughs> now you're really pulling my tail. Sure, I'll let him into the arena. But only if he has proof of such an outlandish claim. Alright, I cut ahead to Akko. You say that I can show off my skills in the arena? Oh, such great news. But I must have proof that my father was Oka. Oh, well, I should have known it was too good to be true. Thank you anyway for trying, wizard. Hold on! Am I not the son of the great Oka? I can become as great as him if I just dare to follow my dreams. You don't become grand champion by standing around in hallways. Okay, we need to get into the old trophy room. 
My father's equipment is in there. One of the Sandstalkers has a symbol of passage that will let you in. Go and find the Sandstalker who has the symbol of passage. Only then will you be able to enter the trophy room next to the entrance to the Colosseum. Alright, so he wants, he wants to defeat some sand stalkers, but uh, we do not do that in this video. That was one example of how uh, uh, this was good experience. Um, I speed this battle up, by the way, because we haven't fought these Sakui Rippers, and I'm fighting them to get that mark of the Gladiator that we need. Um, these are the best option to fight because they have the least amount of HP um, in this area. And, uh, yeah. But... Uh... So yeah, you see, we got a uh, we got we got like 600 plus experience just for going back and forth and talking, and uh, that's uh really good. But that's not the only reason why this area is the best for experience, probably in all of Crocotopia. Um, and I'll show you later why after uh, we defeat the Sapi Rippers guys. Um, in here, uh. Yeah, my bad. If you're getting the mark of the gladiator, I did get I didn't get that lucky. It took me a, quite a few battles actually to get it. Um but that's expected. But uh you see here I didn't get it. That was like dang it. <laughs> um because it wouldn't have been awesome if I got it from my first try. Hopefully I get a lot of things on my first try, uh, in this game. But I didn't get it there either, so I was like, ugh. And uh <laughs> You gotta keep trying to, again, fight the Sakri Rippers. You don't want to fight those Brawler guys or anything because they have more HP. And it's gonna make for a longer battle. But I get on my third battle. Um, so let's go talk to Akko. And he's right around the corner, so I don't need to cut anything here. Perfect. Now with this gear I got you and the Mark of the Gladiator, you'll be able to march into the Colosseum unnoticed. You'll find the Colosseum up ahead. When you enter, be sure to talk to Marakara, the Arena Master. Tell him you want to fight Kayamate the Great. When you succeed, tell Kayamate that the Order of the Fang needs him to rejoin the cause. My plan should work, I hope. Good luck, young wizard, and be careful. Uh, and I cut ahead to the Arena Master over here. Puny foreigner. You think you can take down Kayamate the Great? <laughs> We'll soon see how you fare against real warriors. How about proving yourself first, novice? Think you can defeat a lowly Sakwi Ripper? Alright! <laughs> you entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new contestant. And you see there, he was just gonna give us 645 experience for just fighting one of these guys. And you only need to kill one. Uh, I gotta cut the battle out because we fought these guys 30 times Not before. Bad. But don't congratulate yourself just yet. The Sakwi Ripper is actually a pushover. We'll see what happens in the next round. Okay, I think you got lucky, that Sakwi Ripper. Prepare for something with a little more heat. Ladies and gentlemen. For your enjoyment, we have a special duel. Foreigner Wizard versus the Wild Sunbird. Cheer for the gladiators! You can watch them in action behind the bird gate. Alright, and now we have to defeat the Wild Sunbird. And uh, this is one of many bosses in this area that we will have to defeat. Um. I don't think any of them are too difficult except for a couple. I remember dying before on previous wizards. And yeah, there's always this bug. You have to like, just keep going. <laughs> oh, come on. Nope, nope. There we go. Yeah. So, you are the new kid on the block? Maybe the block isn't big enough for the both of us. We'll see who stays and who goes. And we haven't seen a fire boss since the Palace of Fire. So, uh, it's kind of been a long time, except I think we, didn't we just complete the entrance hall in, like, two videos or something like that, which was, uh, pretty fast, but he's accompanied by a Sockby Ripper, uh, him himself has 575 HP, so, uh, uh, not too difficult here either, um, but 
he does have weakness, so uh, you want to be careful of that. Um, remember, any mob except Myth and Storm have weakness, and I believe there is in a later world one area where Storm, uh, the mobs there do use weakness, but it's only for like one area. Um, here I thought he was gonna weakness me, but uh, decided to go with the Scorpion. I'd rather take that than the weakness actually. Um, so yeah, as always, killing the minion first, like a boss, with the Banshee, and bam, he's dead, and uh, yeah, now it's just uh, up to this, like, why do we have to fight a bird? Like, who fights a bird? This guy? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> but yeah. We have to fight a bird. And if he's a wild sunburned, then how is he why is he held in captivity in this place? You know, KI needs to do a better name a better uh, job with uh, picking names. <laughs> but uh yeah. In here it was like oh, I'm not getting any good spells that I want. So I just slap this on. I don't know why I didn't use the uh Oh yeah, because I don't need to. The a oh, vampire would kill it, I think. And again, I thought he was gonna weakness, but uh, he went for the uh, locust swarm, swarm. And uh, yeah, that one kind of hurt, but uh, again, I'd rather take that than the weakness. And there, there's that vampire that we've been looking for. And uh, yes, yeah, doesn't fizzle, so that's good. Again, you could tell if a death fizzles um, by if you look at their pips and if it's a. Uh, blacked out, like, there's kind of a black over them, um, then that means you're gonna fizzle. That's just a really easy way to know. Um, fire, if, when you're casting the spell, it's, a, uh, it's, uh, really light when you're casting it, not that dark, uh, orangish color, but more of a light orange color when you're casting spell. So now I have to talk to the arena master. Once again, you're gonna be talking to him basically the whole time, uh, for most of this area. Sunbird is tough. It's okay, but you'll have to prove that was not beginner's luck. Level up. I thought I heard a cheer or two for you last time. Maybe I can set up a match between you and Stone Chin. But you'll have to make him interested in you first. Tell you what, if you bash a couple of those ice weavers, I think we can set something up. Stone Chin likes fresh spider eyes. Collect some of those and he'll be willing to tangle with you. Alright, mark this location. Good, good. As you gain power, you can control greater things. I have a new spell for you to master. And yes, Dwargan has a new spell for us, but we will not be getting it this video. Yes, 23 minutes and I still get to leave a cliffhanger in. I'm amazing, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, that's really going to be kind of it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And not a lot of commentating. Mostly every everything else was kind of doing the talking. But we've made a lot of progress. Over 10 clips for this video. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.